Hello and welcome to Bosch Power Tools. So today we, ha we have with us GDS 18V-350. So this is a Bosch impact wrench for all the common applications of uh, tightening and untightening. So let's try to understand what's there in the box. Of course, it comes in the hard uh, case, so which means it's tough for all the workshop applications and also site applications. Uh, what do we find here? So of course, of course, the label is here. It's got a B, uh, B connected a QR code and on this side uh, we have all the labeling of what it is uh, so it's a 18 volt platform that we see 18 V and uh, 350 stands for the maximum torque that it delivers and then anything else specific yes what you need to note here is the tool is shown along with the battery which means the tool is coming with the battery so let's open the box and see what's in there So here we open the box, so what do we get first? This is a tool, it's coming with a battery and then this is a charger, another battery, a belt clip, you can go right here, user manual and the warranty card. So that's what comes in the packaging. So let's try to understand what the tool can do and what are the features of the tool. So as you can see here, first and foremost, so this is a professional series from Bosch. It runs on 18 volt battery. Uh, it's got a speed selection, so that's one, two, three, and it has an ABR, we'll talk about that, and that's from the mode selection. And as we trigger it on, you see, so that's how it's, it's driving. And you can see the LED light that comes up. So as we know, the whole kit comes with the tool itself and there are two batteries and a charger. The charger is out here. How do you charge up? So what you do is you plug in this battery here, lock it in, and then we can put it up on the charge. You're able to see the blink, which means it's charging up. So let this battery be on charge. And you want to check whether it's fully charged or not. So you have a button here, press here. You see now it's, it just shows one LED is on. That means this is almost 33% charge. We need to again boost up the charge by charging so that we'll have a full capac battery capacity to do continuous work. So let's try to understand the technical features of the product. First, we, we have seen that this is on the 18 volt platform, that's uh, that's the tool and the battery itself, as you can see it here. Uh, it's a brushless motor, which means it's going to give you a longer life than the conventional motor that we have. Uh, the anvil is half an inch, it's got a, a pinhole and a friction ring, so there's a dual attachment, which means that your sockets are going to stay there more firmly as we start working on heavier applications. So the tightening torque is 350 Newton meter and the breakaway torque is 560 Newton meter. Impact rate is starting from zero. It goes up to 3400 blows per minute. The head length of this tool is 131 mm. So that's the head length. And the weight of a bare tool is 1.1 kilos. So that's the bare weight of the tool. And this can do a maximum bolt size of M18. So that's the socket you can fix here of M18. So whenever we're talking about the tool, we strongly recommend that you go through the user manual once and then start using the tool. So what are the features right now in this? So if we are in the setting one, all right? So I come to setting one. So out there in the setting one, the RPM delivered is 1200 RPM. So that's the RPM delivered. The BPM, the blows per minute is 1800. And the torque delivered, the maximum torque delivered is 85 Newton meter, right? That's on setting one. Now, if I'm moving to setting two, now that's setting two. In the setting two, the RPM is 1700. And the impact rate is 2600 blows per minute, all right? And the torque delivered, the maximum torque delivered is 200 Newton meter, right? And on the setting three, now I move to setting three. So on the setting three, you get a 
uh, RPM of 2300. The impact rate is 3400, that's the maximum. And the torque is also 350 Newton meter torque. So that's the variation that you'll get in one, two, and three. So if the higher the torque, higher should be your mode selection, right? So that's all about it. And this is given in the user manual. Please go through it. Uh, and do's and don'ts of the machines are always mentioned in the user manual. So it's always good to read the user manual before you take up a tool to work. Now, having said that, now you find ABR. So this is anti-bolt release function. So what is that about and how do you get it? So if I'm going to get this, so I will never get it in this mode because it is in the tightening mode. So I change here to the reverse mode. And now the ABR can be active. You see, this is active. I press it once more, it's deactivated. Again, it is activated. Why so? Because the ABR works only on the reverse mode of the tool. So who are the target customers who are likely to use these tools? So first and foremost is the people who are going to use scuff holding. Uh, and they will use this because it's got a special ABR feature, which is uh, anti-bolt release feature. So we'll talk that in detail. The second set of people who want to use this tool are people who are working in auto garages or automobile garages. It's to basically take out the wheels and do some work and then again, fix it back. And of course, all the bolts and nuts that are available on the automobile uh, parts. Uh, and of course, then after that, it is always used for the eleva elevators, line installations, so that the railings can be fixed and the, uh, the main carriage of the elevator is moving along those rails. So they need to be fastened and that can be used with help of a impact wrench. And most commonly used uh, application is when you're trying to install or rework on the towers that's there outside the cities or in the cities where you require a cordless tool to go and do work at a elevated heights of the towers. So let's do some hands-on. Now we have a, a metal board here or I could say it's a metal plate and we have various sizes of uh, bolts and nuts fixed into this and uh, we'll see how to tighten and how to untighten them. So we have a socket and this is half an inch socket. So we know this, so you can see here. So there's again a half an inch socket and it's got a through and through hole. And then this has also got a through and through hole. And then there is a friction ring as well. So this is a double layer of fixing and holding the socket with anvil firmly, right? Now we have kept this in the tightening position. So let's speak, so this is in speed one. So we'll tighten one of them in speed one. And the other one probably will tighten in speed three. Okay, so let's do it. So that's tightened. So that's on speed one, fully tightened. So let's change it to speed three. And then we try to tighten this. You can see the sound that speaks for itself. The torque is high. So we are at this, we are working in a maximum torque of 350 Newton meter, right? So here we go. Okay, so the ABR function is active now and we will see how it works. You see, the bolt has not come out from the holding of the plate. We'll try this again with this one. So as you can see, so this is the advantage of a ABR function. So the bolt and the nut do not separate themselves out of each other. So they just open up and they stay there, which means you can manually take them out. And this is a huge safety feature. At the same time, it also saves a lot of time and increases productivity for people who are working on the higher, let's say heights or on the scaffolding work. Now, let's try to understand how things can go wrong if you do not activate a ABR function. That's the auto bolt release function. So, so this is active. I'm deactivating this. So which is, means it's deactivated. Let's try to open up now. You see this? It's fallen off. 
Let's try the other one. So they are fallen off. So these are the disadvantages when you do not have an ABR in the tool.